Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome back to our Little Nightmares character concept series. So in today's video, we'll be going into the character, the diver. So we'll be going through their location, their gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff as well. And once again, a big thank you to Jafer over on Twitter for designing today's character, the diver. Also guys, I will just let you know, if you're new to this series, this is pretty much just a concept and an idea that we can share. We don't really expect Bandai Namco and Tarsia to make this into a game, or be linked to number 3 or a DLC. So with that in mind, I hope you enjoy this cool, creepy design character that we've got for you, and the story we're going to tell. And lastly guys, before we start today's video, if you could please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot, and it's greatly appreciated. Alrighty, let's get into the diver. So, for the setting of this character concept location, we start off at the Pale City Sealand. An old rundown aquarium that seems to be abandoned. The aquarium is filled with old empty tanks that don't have much life in them anymore. Anything that was alive has now long perished. The player would start off at the entry of this aquarium. As they enter the mysterious abandoned place, they notice all the old faded paintings of happy sea creatures that cover the walls. As for the character you play as, it doesn't really matter in these character concept videos. These videos are more about the antagonist than the protagonist. So I'll just be calling this character the child or the player. Let us know down below in the comments which character you'd like to see adventure through this abandoned aquarium. So as the child walks through, they see all the large empty tanks filled with dirty green water. As they look closer, they see amongst all the murky water a disturbing number of fish bones. It seems that the people who were looking after this place have abandoned it a long time ago. After wandering around and looking at all the empty, lifeless tanks, they then come across another section of Pale City Sealand. The player now finds themselves in the interactive zone. This was once a place where visitors could pick up and hold sea life that was on display. The tanks in this room are all open so the public could get a better look at all the unique and strange sea creatures. As the player enters this room, they see that once again the tanks are all deserted and empty. They look down at the floor and they see that the entire area is flooded. The child needs to get to the other side of the interactive zone, but unfortunately for them, they can't swim. In this gameplay segment, the player would have to leap on pieces of floating debris to get themselves across the other side. On the other side of the flooded interactive zone is a vent in the wall. The player would try to get to this wall vent on the other side of the room so they could get out of this flooded area. As they're jumping from each platform, they then see a couple of bubbles break the surface of the water. Out of nowhere, a tentacle breaks through the water and tries to grab the player. The child soon realises that underneath the water lies a large angry octopus. This creature hasn't been fed in some time and will do anything to grab the player and make them their next meal. The player would have to jump and dodge the tentacles as they come out of the water and try to grab them. One way that the player could tell when the octopus is about to strike is that they'd see bubbles in the water right before the attack happens. The player would have to be careful not to get hit by the striking tentacles. If they did, the octopus would wrap around them and drag them down into the murky water below. As the child gets closer to the wall vent opposite the interactive zone, the octopus blocks the vent with its tentacles. As the octopus goes to strike, a large hand quickly grabs it and pulls it out of the water. The child sees the octopus has escaped the grasp of this shadowy character and swims to the bottom of the water. As the player looks over, they see something much worse. Standing behind them is a large disturbing character called the Diver. The Diver is wearing an old looking diver's suit and an old broken diver's helmet. Apart from being covered head to toe, we see the Diver's webbed creepy looking hands. In one of these webbed hands is a severed tentacle of the starving octopus. Fearfully staring at the Diver, the child then makes a break for the vent. At the split second before the diver can grab the player, they jump through the vent and make their exit. As the child climbs through the vents, they reach the end. As they push open the vent grate, they then find themselves in the next area of the aquarium, Shark Bay. The child looks around at the giant glass tanks, but once again sees nothing but dark murky water. As they walk through Shark Bay, they see a large shadowy figure behind the glass. As the shadowy figure gets closer, the child ducks and hides their face in fear. 
They then look up and see that this strange creature is nothing more than a foam rubber shark that's floating in the water. While staring at this fake rubber shark, they soon realise there's another shadowy figure approaching them from the other side. As this mysterious figure gets closer to the glass, they soon realise it's once again the diver. The diver furiously hits the glass as it starts to crack. Knowing that all that water will rush in, the child quickly runs towards the exit again. But before they make it, the glass shatters and a rush of water pours in. As they try to outrun it, they get swept up and taken by the swell of rushing water. They can see the diver making their way towards them. Out of the corner of their eye, the child sees the rubber shark floating past them. They grab onto it and it floats them to the top. In this gameplay segment, the child would have to float on the shark towards the exit. But they would also have to keep an eye out for the diver that would try and grab them off the floating shark. In the distance, the child spots the window of the aquarium gift shop. They just need to make it over and climb through the window so they can escape this relentless diver. After dodging the attacks of the diver, they then finally make it to the window. The diver finally gets a hold of the shark and pulls it underwater. Just before the shark is fully submerged, the child leaps off and dives through the window. As they land, their fall is cushioned by a stuffed aquatic animal. They then look around at all the souvenirs and items on the shelves and they spot the exit of the aquarium. As they climb through the gift covered shelves, they then see the determined diver who has made their way into the gift shop through one of the back doors. It seems that the diver will stop at nothing to capture the player. Then all of a sudden, the diver's helmet starts to light up as they emit a spotlight to try and find the hiding player. In this final gameplay segment, the player would have to hide and sneak past the diver to try and make it towards the exit. They would have to avoid the diver's spotlight or else they'd get captured. After they've successfully snuck past the diver, they finally reach the glass door exit of the aquarium. As they push it open, the diver notices them. The diver runs after them, but then quickly realises that the back wall of the gift shop has started to crack. Suddenly the wall falls apart and all the water from Shark Bay starts rushing in. The child quickly exits the aquarium and shuts the glass door. The diver behind the glass door is now fully underwater. With all the pressure from the water, they can't open the glass door. The diver starts to once again smash the glass as a large shadowy figure approaches them from behind. The diver turns around to see the shadow of the rubber shark approaching them. Then all of a sudden, the rubber shark speeds up. The diver soon realises that a real life shark is charging towards them. The diver turns around to see the child staring at them as the large shadow grabs the diver in its jaws and swims away in the distance. The child then turns around and walks off to find somewhere much more safer than the dark depths of this deadly aquarium. Alrighty guys, that's all we had for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. Also, let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of the diver and also what you'd like to see in the future. Also, let me know what you think happened to the diver in the end of the video. Did they survive the shark attack or did they meet a terrible demise? Personally, I think they did survive the shark attack, but you can make that up as well. Alrighty guys, well until the next video, I'll catch you later. Bye.